Uh, Great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Dr. Lander, during our phone call a few weeks ago, we had a brief discussion, as you may recall, about uh, about your stance on federal research relating to ethics in certain scientific research areas, like uh, those involving the use of aborted fetal tissue or embryonic stem cells. As I recall, you indicated during our conversation that as director of OSTP, you would have little input in any of these areas. Uh, but uh, to be clear, Title 42 states that the director of OSTP is required to, quote, develop, review, revise, and recommend criteria for determining scientific and technological activities warranting federal support, close quote. So understanding this particular part of the job description, I'd like to ask you a series of, uh, of, of questions, and I'd like you, if possible, to keep these to a yes or no, just given the limited time frame that we have. Um, a series of yes or no questions regarding the ethics of certain scientific research. Do you, do you support Hyde Amendment protections? Um, I recognize the president's position and support the president's position on the Hyde Amendment. Um, so is that, is that a no? Uh, uh, sorry, I haven't quite got which way yes and no went, but I, I, I think my answer is I support the president's position. Understood. Do you support the use of aborted fetal tissue for research purposes? I think the role of OSTP is to be able to provide advice on what might be learned. I defer to our elected officials to determine how to balance the ethical questions and the use of it and the possible benefits that could emerge. I think science can provide to our elected officials the potential benefits and I very much respect the importance of these ethical issues and how much they matter to so many people, myself included and yourself included. And I so respect what, that these what about are the use of live embryos. Patients. What about the use of live embryos in federally funded research? Do you support that? Live embryos? Yes. Um, I, I, I am not aware of that. Okay. How about the creation of three parent embryos? I, I believe the creation of embryos for the purpose of human research is unethical. We should never be creating embryos for the purpose of human research. Okay, so, so uh, does that mean, uh, do you support or oppose the, the use of germline genetic engineering to create genetically modified embryos? Um, I, have, I have been on record um, supporting a moratorium on the use of germline genome editing to create um, designer babies. Uh, I think there are deep technical questions, but deep ethical questions of creating you, children with genetic what, editing. Do you support the creation of human-animal hybrid embryos? Um, I have deep ethical concerns about the creation of, of such hybrids and certainly, uh, there are strong regulations already, and I think it's uh, very much worth looking closely at that. Uh, do you support uh, allowing an embryo to gestate in an artificial womb environment for research purposes for less than 14 days? Um, I think the 14 days are the, are the current federal guidelines. And again, I defer to our elected officials and the federal government's policies here, but I am very strong. What about longer than 14 days? Sorry? How about longer than 14 days? I, I believe that the, those lines are drawn for very good reasons.